this tutorial, we'll walk through the process of changing content entry forms. By the end of this tutorial, you will understand how to change the recipe form to use a different widget to enter terms into the ingredients field. To follow along, you should understand how to add a content type, how to add basic fields to a content type, the concept of taxonomy, and the concepts of forms and widgets. Also, the recipe content type must exist and contain the ingredients taxonomy term reference field. See the written version of this tutorial for links to the prerequisites. From the Manage Administrative menu, navigate to Content, Add Content, and Recipe. For the purposes of this demonstration, I've changed the widget for ingredients to use checkboxes instead of the default autocomplete tag style. Let's see how we can change this form field widget to use an autocomplete field instead, which would provide us with a more compact entry form, which would be desirable as the list of possible ingredients for a recipe could grow to be quite extensive. Back in the Manage Administrative menu, navigate to Structure, then Content Types, and from the Operations menu for Recipe, Manage Form Display. Scroll down to the Ingredients field and select Autocomplete Tag Style. Click Save. Now once again, from the Manage Administrative menu, navigate to Content, Add Content, Recipe, and notice that the Ingredients field now uses the Autocomplete Tag Style widget. The ingredients field is now a single text field that accepts multiple values. Now on your own, create two recipe content items using recipes of your choice. Make sure that all of the fields have values, including images, ingredients, and submitted by. See the written version of this tutorial for further instructions and links to the related tutorials. Here's an example of a completed form for fresh carrots recipe. In this tutorial, we change the recipe form to use a different widget to enter terms into the ingredients field.